How do we produce reliable knowledge about environmental management issues? Is quantitative research really more rigorous and reliable than qualitative research? What is rigorous research? What criteria are there for judging rigor? Hi there, my name is Keith Barney and I will be the convener for EMDV 8102 Research Methods for Environmental Management. The basic objective of this course is to introduce you to the world of research methods, to take away some of the mystery behind the research process, and to consider how people plan, design, and conduct quality research. The theory and practice of both qualitative, quantitative, and mixed methods approaches will be covered in this course. A theory of methodology is important because it focuses on the underlying logics that make certain methods appropriate in specific contexts. This will mean covering some philosophy of science in the first part of the course. The second part of the course will delve into the world of qualitative methods. There will be sessions on environmental narratives, the extended case study method, methods in ethnographic fieldwork, participatory action research, and critical approaches to spatial mapping. In each of these weeks, we will also learn about particular research tools, such as interviews, questionnaires, focus groups, participant observation, and writing field notes. Issues of ethics and researcher positionality will be incorporated into each session. The readings in the qualitative section of the course will be drawn from a range of interesting contexts, from native property rights in Malaysia, to wildlife corridors in Kenya, to conducting ethnographic research in upland Vietnam, to mapping land use change in India. And I will be sharing stories and insights from my own long-term fieldwork in the country of Laos as well. The third section of the course will be a five-week block on quantitative methods, and the final session of the class will focus on strategies for effectively linking research with public policy. This course is fully compatible with online learning that can fit with a busy work schedule. In 1958, scientist Michael Polanyi wrote that all theory may be regarded as a kind of map extended over space and time. By the end of this course, you will have an excellent idea of what he meant by that phrase. 